So you've picked out your brand new camper, you've decided on the one, you finally picked it, and today's the day of delivery. Today's the day you pick it up and you take your dream camper home. I'm gonna tell you what you should be expecting out of your delivery process. This isn't trying to convince you to go to any particular dealer. I'm just trying to tell you what you should be expecting out of your dealer and nothing less. The walkthrough process should be thorough and your unit should be set up just like this, like you're ready to camp. I've heard plenty of stories of people picking up campers and I know a lot of places kind of just let you peek your head in, check it out, and that's about it. But all the slides should be open. You should be able to open the awning. There should already be a battery in it. There should be water in it. You should be able to do all of that. Everything in a camper should go through a very strict PDI process. Pre-delivery inspection is very important. These are built by humans. There's going to be human error. The PDI process eliminates some of that. Of course, in most PDIs, you can't find every single little thing. There's going to be a little scratch here and there that you can't find or a button that doesn't work. That's the point of the walkthrough. Now, I won't disclose the dealer I'm at, but the way we do it is you're going to spend about two, maybe two and a half, three hours walking through a coach like this, playing with it. They're going to show you what all the buttons and all the bells and whistles do, how all the fixtures work. Again, that's the importance of having water on board, making sure there's no leaks, making sure all the doors close, make sure the cabinets open and close. Without the PDI process or the walkthrough process, stuff like this gets missed when that can very easily be handled beforehand and under warranty. Same with any trim pieces that are loose, doors that are hanging off or need adjustments. That is the point in a PDI so that we can handle all of that stuff before you pick it up. Again, most techs are human as well and there's going to be things that are missed, like trim that's misaligned. It really all depends on how thorough you are. Not every tech's going to catch something like that. But that's the point in doing a walkthrough process. Now, most of this is done on the PDI, but you're still gonna wanna make sure you're able to pull the blinds down. Let them go back up, open and close the doors, test the TV, test the stereo, inside and outside speakers, all the light fixtures, the smoke detectors, the air conditioner, the furnace, the refrigerator, make sure it's cold, checking all the doorknobs. These are all things that should be included in every PDI. I honestly don't see any reason why this would not be included from every dealership. But again, I've heard stories of a lot of dealerships that don't necessarily do that. You should be able to try out the toilet, at least the flush function, right? I don't think we wanna go that far, but you get where I'm getting. Now I'm not saying our delivery process is absolutely perfect. We have a hit list for a reason, and the hit list is essentially where we're gonna write things down that you find during the delivery process, and we're gonna get those fixed while you're in finance and get all that stuff taken care of. Minor adjustments and little cosmetic issues is typically what that is. Most of the time that list is very minimal because a fifth wheel of this size, um, a technician should be spending anywhere from three to four hours going through every point in this coach to make sure that there's no issues. A lot of those points are just testing every single function in the coach, every door, every blind, uh, every appliance and things like that. Again, not every dealer does it the same way and I'm not knocking anyone or trying to talk up any different ones, um, but the way we particularly do it, outside of just testing everything and testing every door and whatnot, we are going to run that water until that tank is full. So full that it backs up into the sink and there's no leaks. Same with the black tank. We're gonna run that toilet, we're gonna flood test that tank until the toilet completely backs up. That tank is so full that it's backing up into the tank that's gonna tell us there's no leaks. And then outside of plumbing, there's going to be uh, Amper's draw test on everything, including the brakes, all the electrical systems. The refrigerator will do temperature tests, the air conditioners will do temperature tests, furnace will do temperature tests, water heater will do temperature tests, and make sure it's right. Again, humans build these, humans inspect them. There's going to be human error, but that's the point of a good walkthrough process. And that's the entire point of this video. You should accept nothing less than this right here when you pick up that brand new camper. And when you do find things during the walkthrough, like this piece of trim right here, hanging down, don't let them tell you that that's, that's just the way it is. That's a warrantyable item. Lights that don't work, that's warrantyable. Anything that doesn't work in here is warrantyable on a brand new coach, of course. Now, the warranty process can absolutely suck, which is why the PDIs are typically done long before you even buy it. Um, 
where I'm at, essentially we do two PDIs. We do the PDI when the unit arrives, it's all gone through, any fixes that need to be done are fixed. And then afterwards, um, you'll have the tech check, which is right when the unit rolls into bay, you've purchased it, it's about two days before your delivery. We'll go through it one more time and check all the vitals. And unless it's a used unit and you're buying it as is, there's no warranty or anything like that, anything that isn't working properly or is damaged should be replaced. It should be fixed properly. Should have been done before delivery, but again, we're all humans and we're going to miss some things. But you shouldn't accept anything less than perfect, especially for what they cost, right? You're spending your hard-earned money. Don't let somebody just let you come pick the thing up. I didn't think that that was a problem. Um, where I'm at, we do nothing like that, but I've gotten so many messages and so many comments about, you know, we were just able to pick it up, that's it, or it was just dropped off at my house, we never had a chance to go through it. Even if it's being delivered to your house, your walkthrough specialist should be opening it up like this and doing a video walkthrough with you, whether it be on FaceTime or just sending you the video. Again, this video is in no way meant to talk down on any dealers or talk up any dealers. That's the entire reason that I don't advertise who I work for because I try and keep my opinions mine and mine only and not have any biases for any dealerships, any brands, or any manufacturers. My opinions are genuine and I genuinely believe that if your dealership is not willing to do this, open it up, fill it with water, fill it with propane, have a battery on board, and walk you through every bit of it, you need to back out of that deal and you need to go somewhere else. The next best piece of advice that I have for you is if you want more RV tips, tricks, and tours with a technician, make sure you press that subscribe button.